in the door. I'm coming. Yes. Oh, can I help you? How do you do? Is this Astro Boy's house? Ah, yes, it is. I'll call him. Oh, Astro Boy, Astro Boy, come quickly. What's the matter, sis? There's a man to see you. I mean, half a man. How can that be? I can't explain it. He's just not all there. I'm very sorry for disturbing you, but you see... You wanted to see me? Astro Boy, I beg you, please come with me. Why? Oh, there are reasons I cannot divulge at this moment. But as one honest robot to another, believe me when I say, we need your help. Hmm. Obviously, he needs your help to find the upper part of his body. That's not the reason, little girl. I think you should go. All right. Thank you. The only trouble is you are so famous, you must travel in disguise. How? As my upper half. Climb aboard. All you need is a great big coat. Need something, all right? Excellent idea. Bring us a coat. Just where are we going, anyway? Don't ask. Just leave everything to me. Now, the disguise is complete. Are you ready for the next step? I think so. Then we're off. <laughs> By the way, I don't know your name. Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nobby Nobody. <gasps> Uh-oh, there's Mr. Poppins. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Poppins. Good evening. Hmm. I'm sure I heard that voice before, but I don't know where. The footprints of a robot. But with a hallmark, I don't recognize. Hmm. <laughs> this smells like a case. Since I'm a detective, I better do a little detecting here. <laughs> Fools rush in. <laughs> Can you tell me where we're going now? The land of Goshen. Land of Goshen? Isn't that the place where a robot was elected president? But of course. It's for that very reason you are coming. Fasten your seatbelts, please, for landing in the land of Goshen. He must have arrived on that plane. Got the bomb ready? Right. Is that the one? That's him. Throw it! Ah! What a narrow escape. I think someone threw that at us. You're absolutely correct. Now take this. Hmm. Follow that car and don't spare the horses. Wait! I said you should follow that other car. Hmm. What's going on? Are you mocking me? No, we're kidnapping you. Or shall I say, your presence is requested elsewhere. Why are you bringing me to this place? Huh? You'll see. It's a pretty swanky hideaway. <laughs> Stand up, the prince is coming. The prince? Thank you, number 17. You may retire now. Why the masquerade? Allow me to introduce myself, Prince Upley. Pleased to meet you. Hmm. Don't think you can sweet talk me. After all, I'm your prisoner. But of course. You may be a prince, but you've no right kidnapping me. I would prefer to think of you as my guest. Baloney, let's stop beating around the bush, Prince Upley. You want something from me? What is it? Huh? Since you insist, I'll tell you. I want your face and your limbs. My face and my limbs? Uh, out of my way! You? I see I'm outnumbered. All right, I'll face the end unafraid. You're so brave. I'm sure it'll please Astro Boy. Astro Boy? This is the official residence of the president. It's beautiful. Please follow me to my office. I am delighted to see you are still here. I gather no one noticed my absence. Come, let's get together. 
I see. Your upper half stayed here while your lower half was gone. That's right. Let me properly introduce myself. I'm Mr. Nobby Nobody, executive secretary to the president. Mr. Nobody? You're really somebody. I see you're back already, Nobby. Oh, Mr. President. Yes, I just now returned. President Ditto, I have the extreme pleasure of being able to introduce to you Astro Boy. I'm pleased to meet you. And I hope you can help us. Since the land of Goshen was the first to give robots the right to vote, and I was more qualified for the job than any other candidate... They elected me a robot president of the country. Most of the human beings were pleased to see me president. And I must say, the industrial output of our country increased because the robots were happy and volunteered to work overtime for no extra pay. But there were, and are, some human beings who are very angry about having a robot for their president. Their numbers are steadily increasing. They are doing many unlawful acts to hurt this administration. They've even threatened my life. If they break the law, they should be caught and punished. But a robot can't possibly arrest and punish human beings for their misdeeds. President Ditto, it's up to you to maintain law and order in this country. If you don't do it, the evil will increase and no one will be safe. It's a big job, but I'll do whatever I can to help you. Thank you, Astro Boy. You see, Mr. Pompous, our hidden television cameras reveal everything. Now it's up to you to stop Astro Boy from helping the president. So that's your game. You want me to persuade Astro Boy not to help the robot president. Ha! <laughs> you got your nerve. I wouldn't lift a finger to help such a traitor as you, Prince Arplay, so there. Very eloquent and high-spirited, my friend, but we do have ways and means of persuasion. The pressure box is all ready, Your Highness. Right, this should convince you. <laughs> Don't look very dangerous to me. This is your last chance, Mr. Pompous. Will you help us or not? Mm, I will not! As you wish, close the cover. Hmm. Now, turn on the water. Hmm, trying to dampen my spirit, are they? Uh-oh. I'm beginning to get the picture. Hey, this stuff's swelling up around me. Indeed, it is swelling up around you. As the water enters the steel box, it continuously drips on the stones below. Those stones are a special combination of sponge and cement. They swell up, and soon they will crush you. They're getting bigger and bigger. Let me out of here before I'm crushed alive. Hmm. Would you care to reconsider my proposition? I would rather be crushed than to capitulate to you villains. Very well, my stubborn little man. So be it. <laughs> That'll be enough for this time. Take him out. At least he knows I'm serious. And all of you can learn a lesson from this man's experience today. No one should dare to disobey Prince Uplay. Long live the Prince! And I vow that President Ditto shall soon learn that same lesson. Until recently, robots were just slaves. We had to obey whatever orders were given by the men who made us. But, as you know, Astro Boy, the situation has changed here in the land of Goshen. The only robots made here are made by other robots at the Precision Machinery Factory. They're all strong and honest. They only want to help mankind and be friends. That's a lie, Ditto, and you know it. The robots are out to destroy mankind. Who's that? It is I. <gasps> Allow me to introduce myself, Prince Upley. I know who you are. You should, Ditto. You are the leader of the anti-robot movement, aren't you? Yours truly. And what's more, unless you want to see every last robot in this country destroyed, Mr. President, you will go on television tonight and publicly resign your office. You want me to resign as president? For the good of mankind, of course. Mr. Prince Upley, I refuse. I absolutely refuse. And I'm here to see that the robots are not mistreated by the likes of you. Don't interfere, Astro Boy. See this? Mr. Pompous! Absolutely correct. You understand, of course, he just might get hurt in case you're too meddlesome. That does it. I'm issuing an order to arrest you. Ha ha ha! Do you think you can? Just take a look behind you. <gasps> Robot monster! I'll take care of him. That wasn't too hard. Hey! Hey! Mm. Oh. He 
best friend. Astro Boy! Astro Boy! Astro Boy, come quickly, it's the president! What? He's been taken away! Taken away? Okay! I'm coming too! There's the ship! Thank you! Ah! I'm sure they landed on this island. They disappear to. <gasps> Mr. Pompous! Hey! I would strongly suggest, Astro Boy, that you not come any closer or goodbye, Pompous. Another one of your tricks, Prince Upley? Yes, and a rather good one, if I do say so myself. You see, the wires around Mr. Pompous are highly charged with electricity. If you try to take him down, you'll both be electrocuted. Now, will you stop your meddling and go home? No! <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Pompous? Hmm, very clever. Shooting the wires. But do you really think you can escape from here? Not before you meet my robot vultures. those monsters. Now what we do? What do you do? Nobby! You got here just in time. Save Mr. Pompous! Ah. Huh? Ha 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 The end of Astro Boy. You hope? Yes. Because not even the mightiest robot can win over mankind. You're mean. You're the mean one, Ditto. Or have you forgotten that I once made a robot? It was five years ago. Ah, it works. Now to give you a name. I'll call you Ditto, and you will be the greatest robot ever made. Understand? Yup. But that's not proper language. You must say yes, sir, not yup. And you must become strong, strong in body and strong in mind. You must develop your mind. At the next election, I'll need your brains to help me win the presidency. And you did study hard, Ditto. 103 books a day, 24 hours every day. Your mechanical brain was crammed with knowledge. But then you began to think, and that led to trouble. I've decided that I ought to be the one to run for president. Don't be ridiculous. Robots are made to be slaves for mankind. But robots deserve their freedom. Ah, so it's freedom you want. Well, when I'm elected president, you shall have your freedom. But you won't be elected president. I will. I could not believe that all those voters who applauded my speeches could possibly vote for a robot to be their leader, the president of the country. But when you spoke, they applauded even louder. And so it was, you won the election. But now your term is over. You are a machine that's gone wrong. I'll fix that. <gasps> You'd have been better off serving your master. Mm, without this electronic brain cell, you are now nothing more than a stupid marionette. Stand up straight. Now remember what I tell you. You will go on television at 8 o'clock tonight. And you will announce to the world that you've decided to resign as president. Understand? <laughs> now absolutely nothing stands in my way at all. Astro Boy! Astro Boy! Astro Boy! Astro Boy! We've got to get fuel for him somehow. May I suggest we use the fuel from my Robocop? Good idea. Fill her up. Now he should be hunky-dory. All right, Astro Boy, wake up now. Hmm? Hmm. He's not waking up. 
Astro Boy. Oh, it's no use. It must be that something is out of whack. Couldn't we possibly find a scientist to make repairs? Uh, perhaps we can, but... No buts about it. We must get Astro Boy to him right away. This is an emergency. Hmm. Interesting. But will he recover, Doc? I honestly don't know. Don't know? <laughs> I'd say his chances are zero. Don't ask me. I'm a veterinarian. It would seem there's no one in the land of Goshen can fix Astro Boy. What do we do now? Attention! President Ditto speaks tonight! Huh? I said, President Ditto speaks tonight at 8 o'clock on television. Be sure not to miss it. Oh, this is very bad. Prince Upley must be behind this. Mm, I guess we'll have to save the president. In only 50 minutes? I don't think we can do it. Prince Upley can't stop me. I have a good mind to call him and tell him what I think. <laughs> call phone. Video phone. That gives me a great idea. What is that? We can use the overseas video phone to call Dr. Elephant. Come on, let's go. What number are you calling, please? Get me Dr. Elephant at the Institute of Science and hurry, please. That call will be completed in ten minutes. Ten minutes? Oh, we might as well wait. He's our last chance. Look, something is happening. Must be our call. Yes, I recognize the nose. Who's disturbing my dinner? This is urgent, Doctor. Ah, oh, Mr. Pompous, what can I do for you? It's about Astro Boy. You see, he was involved in fighting all these robot monsters. You're not a few saving him. This is serious. Now, listen carefully and do exactly as I tell you. Leave it to me. I'll go to Astro Boy. You relay all instructions to me. Right. I'm ready. What shall I do? First, replace the exhaust valve. There's a spare right beside it. He says to first replace the exhaust valve with the spare right beside it. Exhaust valve, exhaust valve. Here it is. Now loosen all the screws on the ejector housing. Loosen all screws on his ejector housing. Now you must bend the neck of the jet burner and pull the pin that'll release the legs of the fuel tank. The spring will be loose, so take it out. Bend the neck and take off the legs, he says. Bend the neck first, then take off the legs. Stupid, we're not practicing calisthenics. We're not practicing stupid calisthenics. Do this, do that, do this, do the other, do that again. <laughs> He's recovered! And you don't need me anymore. Goodbye. Astro Boy, the president is scheduled to speak at 8. I'd better get there. <laughs> It's time for your resignation speech, Ditto. You're one of Prince Upley's guards. Take me to the president. And don't dare sound the alarm. Tell the prince it's time for the president to leave for the broadcasting studio. It's time to go, your highness. Get the car out. He's ready. I shall not be going along. I shall stay here and watch your big moment on television. This way to the makeup room, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you for getting me this far. But now, it's better for you to take a little rest. Oh, oh dear. Shh. I'm sorry for surprising you this way, but President Ditto is in great trouble. Ditto, Ditto, look at me. It's Astro Boy. Prince Upley must have taken out his electronic brain. Now what will I do? Say, those wigs give me an idea. Are you the girl that does makeup? Yes, I am. Well, listen. <laughs> yes, I understand. But you must hurry. It's 8 o'clock and time for the message from our president. And here he is now, President Ditto. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't be nervous, Ditto. Just speak the speech as I taught it to you. It's the only track you have on your little brain. Tell the world that you are resigning and I should be the president. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to appeal to your sense of justice. What? We robots want to help make the world a better place to live for you, our good friends and neighbors. 
As the robot president of the land of Goshen, I am pledged to this ideal. Again, Ditto betrays his master. Attention! The die is cast. Go get the president. Stand aside. I must see President Ditto immediately. He's still broadcasting. Listen, robot. Let me in. <laughs> this way. What's that? <gasps> I'm surrounded, am I? Ditto, you've betrayed your master for the last time. Fire! <gasps> Excuse me while I change. <gasps> Please, 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 please. Hmm, the prince must have slipped away. So the police are surrounding my house, are they? Well, they'll never catch me. prefer to think that Ditto is a carbon copy of me. That's why I wore the helmet, to hide the resemblance. Thank you, Astro Boy. I owe my life to you. Aren't you forgetting someone else? You can come in now. <gasps> Prince Opley! Ditto, it is far, far better that you be our president. Such praise from you is indeed welcome. From this day on, I pledge you my hand and my heart. Thank you. Thank you. 